My project deals with the study and application of graphene. Graphene is an atom-thick slice of carbon, and graphene has extraordinary electrical and mechanical properties. It's a great conductor of electricity, and it's about 100 times stronger than steel. At the moment, there's very little knowledge about what goes on when we drill underground. If we can judge the pressure, we get important information about what you're drilling into. So what we do is we try to exploit graphene's mechanical properties to create a pressure sensor. It's intended to be used when you drill for oil to help us know where our high flow regions are, things like that. We want to make durable, so very strong pressure sensors that have sensitivity in high pressure ranges. We intend to make them about a micron in thickness, so that's about 100 times thinner than human hair. When you're working on a nanoscale, you want things to be as clean as possible because small particles of dust are pretty large when you're dealing with things that are that small. So we wear an overall, gloves, a cap, and shoe covers so that we can kind of keep dust out of the room. We create the sensors on four inch wafer disks and each wafer will have about a million or maybe two million sensors on it. Then we put them in a solution and then pump them into the ground then extract them out of the ground and filter what we take out. After you filter it, you can go look at the pressure sensors in a microscope and you'll be able to make out what pressure range it is it's been okay. exposed to. For me, it's all about making things and my research gives me the opportunity to actually make things. Now, although I can't see them, there are ways to analyze them and get a, a perfectly good idea of what's going on at a small scale, even though you don't have a regular picture of it or you can't see it with the naked eye. Before coming to Boston University, I never expected that I would be working in a lab, working with things I couldn't see. Such a great experience. <laughs>